You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello my darlings, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another video. This is a really exciting video for me. I am collaborating with the beautiful Lisa Astoria. Hang on, let me just tip this camera up a little bit. It seems a bit low. There we go, hang on. That's better. Yeah, I am collaborating with the beautiful Lisa Astoria. If you guys aren't familiar with Lisa, she is wonderful. She is from South Wales. She is a beautiful blonde bombshell, stunning. And her channel is very much, very similar to mine. Lifestyle, hauls, beauty, fashion that kind of stuff but Lisa also does um crime stories like um you know when she's doing her makeup and stuff she'll talk to you about serial killers and crime and stuff like that so please go over and check out Lisa's channel and show her some love and support and subscribe to her channel and help her get on her way to a thousand subscribers. I have collaborated with Lisa before. Um, I think Lisa was one of the first people I ever collaborated with. We did a Cherries um, swap box for a girls' night in kind of thing. And I've collaborated with her with Danny Ebbs as well. So this is the third time I'm collaborating with Lisa. She's lovely. So the collaboration today is a Mother's Day hamper idea, gift idea. And our budget was £20. And we could spend it where we chose, uh, Home Bargains, B&M, Poundland, um, I mean, Home Bargains is quite far away from me, so I've been to B&M and Poundland to get my stuff for my mum. So that's our challenge, a uh, £20 budget and, let's see fluff in the air, um, gifts for our mothers. Now, I've done, I've got the hamper, I'll show you everything that I've got and then I'll put it all in the hamper and show you how it looks. Um now, some of you may know, not all of you may know, that my mum is actually in um, a care home. She's in the final throes of uh, vascular dementia. So, this hamper, like, she can't eat solid food or anything like that, so I couldn't put chocolates in. She can't feed herself or, you know give herself her own drink so I couldn't put her a mug in or anything like that. So I've really had to think about stuff to go in this hamper for my mum. Now, obviously being in a care home, she always needs shower gels and, you know, shampoos and stuff like that. So that's kind of the theme that I've gone along um, for my mum. So... Let me show you what I have got. Let me show you the uh, basket first. Now, buying this basket did make me go over my budget. So, I've spent £23 basically because the I'd got all the stuff and I was like, shit, I need a basket for the hamper. I hadn't got one at home. Um, so, I had to buy a little basket and it was £3. So, I went over budget. Sorry, Lisa. So... That's the first fail. Hang on, there's some bits and pieces in there. I just need to move them out of the way. So, this is the little hamper. It's just a little grey basket and it was £3. Oh, £4, sorry. So, I spent £24. It was £4. So, I'm just going to put all the stuff in there and uh, my mum's card, which is this one. So, this is the card that I got her. This was one pound twenty nine. This was from B and M, yeah. This was from B and M, and this was from B and M. And it says to a blooming lovely mum, wishes and kiss kisses are coming your way for the loveliest time and a magical day. Thank you for being a wonderful mum with love and hugs on Mother's Day. Now my mum 
she won't even know. She doesn't remember me. She doesn't remember any of us. Do you know what I mean? But I still send um, Mother's Day, birthdays, Christmas, stuff like that. I, I just do, even though she hasn't got a clue. So, yeah, that's the card. That's the hamper. And to go in there, might as well stay with B&M because I only picked up a couple of things from B&M. I have picked her up this gorgeous, cosy throw. It's really, really soft, you know, for over her legs when they're sitting in the day room and stuff like that and for on her bed. So I thought that would be really, really nice for her and cosy, you know, a bit of comfort for her to, to stroke and stuff. And that was six pounds. And I also picked her up some cosy socks. So there's like um, a pink and pink and grey pair, a lilac pair and a grey pair to keep her feet nice and warm. And they were £4 as well. And it says three pack of cosy socks. So I'll put those in as well. So that's uh, 6, 10, 14. Not counting the card. 14. Right, Poundland. I got everything else from Poundland. In fact, I think I've gone way up the budget now. Thinking about it, I just throwing stuff in. Oh well, it's Mother's Day, and I picked her up these little cosy slippers with the you know the little pads on the bottom for her to have on in the day room, and they were two pound fifty for those. What did we say we was on? Oh, I'm, I'm not counting the basket. No, I'm not going to count the basket. So we'll do six, four, ten. We want £12.50. So I picked up those lovely lilac slippers as well. Pop that down there out the way. Then I picked her up one of these perfumes that I got for myself the other day. She, you know, she loves a spray of perfume. They, they look after her really well, you know, and do her hair and make her smell nice and everything. So I put her one of these in. So that was a pound. You know what? I can't even remember what the price is to keep track of. So I'll just put it all on the screen at the end exactly how much I spent. And I will include everything. The card, the, the basket, everything. How much this whole hamper cost. Jeez. So yeah, this was a pound, the perfume. And it's uh, the copy of... What did I say it was the copy of now? Paco Rabanne uh, Olympia. I think, yeah, Olympia. So I picked her that up. I also picked her up a rosette and it says number one mom on it. So I'm going to pin that to the card as well. That was a pound. I picked her up some deodorant, soft and gentle. That was a pound. I've gone for like a pink and lilac theme as well, as much as I could. I got her some shower gel in the rose and almond oil i think that was a pound as well and then i also picked her up some shampoo and condition <laughs> shampoo and conditioner in the uh, magnificent strength and it's the swartz cough I can never say that properly. Gliss hair repair. And that was only 75 pence each. So two for 150, which I thought was really good. So I picked her those up as well. And then <laughs> I picked her up one of these little gonks to go in it. I couldn't resist it. I thought he'd look really nice sitting in there. And I can keep that in her room, can't she? It's the one like I got myself holding the flower there. I think they was 150 as well. And then the last thing that I picked up is this little bunch of flowers. Now, there is little Easter eggs in there, but I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? It's called a flower pot. And I thought that would just sit nice inside, um, you know, the hamper. So that was the last thing that I picked her up. So... Let me know what you think of all the little bits. Like I said, I couldn't put chocolates and that kind of stuff in because she can't eat them and she she can't hold a cup or anything. So I couldn't give her a nice mug or anything like that. So I've had to go with, you know, those kind of things that I know she'll get some use out of. So let me know what you think. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go off camera. I'm going to arrange it all into the hamper and i'll be right back to show you how it looks and you know how i'll send it to her i'll be right back 
I'm back. <laughs> so, guys, whew, I'm out of breath. Here is the finished hamper. How gorgeous is that? I've just put all this beautiful cellophane over it, a bow, and I've put the number one, is it number one, mum? Number one, mum, rosette there, and just made it look really pretty for her, and there's all the stuff inside. It's a bit glary because of the, the cellophane over it. But, you know, such a lovely gift idea, and for 20 quid, well, just over 20 quid, you know, you can put stuff in there that you know that your mums are, are going to appreciate. You can fill it with chocolate, skincare, wine, <laughs> gin. You can put all your mum's treats in that you know that she loves. I mean, if I was to receive a hamper like this for Mother's Day, I would be ecstatic. My ideal hamper would be filled with makeup. <laughs> I end makeup. Uh, yeah, so... That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. Let me know what you think. And also, if you want to see what Lisa has got for her beautiful mom on her budget and where she went to get her bits and pieces, please pop over to her channel and have a look at her video and give her a like and subscribe while you're, out, while you're over there and help her get on her way to her a thousand subscribers as well so i read oh and i've got the card i've read the card out as well so that'll go along with that so i hope you've enjoyed this little video it's not too long how far in our way i think we're on about 15 minutes something like that so not too long. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. You know what to do. <laughs> and if you haven't already, subscribe down below and pop on the notification bell. Um, so you'll be notified each time that I do upload. And don't forget to leave all your lovely comments in the comment box down below. And I'll have a chat with you down there. I was going to say something there. What was I going to say? Oh, it's completely gone out of my head what I was going to say. Yeah. So this has been my collaboration with the beautiful Lisa Astoria. And yeah, please go and check her out. And happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there who are going to be celebrating this weekend. I hope this has given you a little bit of inspiration of something to do for your mum, maybe. maybe you know, if you're stuck for... For ideas, perfect uh, hamper. Um, yeah, put, you know, give yourself a budget. It, it can be anything. It can be 10 quid, 20 quid, 100 quid, whatever you want it to be. It's personal for your mum. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Happy Mother's Day. Don't forget to give Lisa a look and subscribe. And I love you all so much. Bye.